Yes, indeed. Another day, another dollar in this beautiful world we call truck driving. Now, I know it's tough out there, truck drivers, but there's a light at the end of the tunnel. One day, things will turn around in trucking, but when that day comes, Andrew have absolutely no idea. And I'm not finna wait to figure out when that day gonna come. I'm gonna let you guys wait. I'm gonna go hang out with Mr. Charlie. And you guys let me know when the transportation industry uh, has turned around. And to the end, I got, I got three trucks. They parked. They paid for. They chilling. Uh, every week I, I go out there and start them up and drive them in a circle and, you know, shoot some videos for YouTube. I think, as a matter of fact, I just checked on the flat top, the batteries was dead. So, you know, leave that situation right there. When you, when you guys let me know trucking turned around, I'll go to Freightline and get brand new batteries out the dealership. Because they dirt cheap. They ain't nothing about $80 a battery. But anyways, uh, what's today? Sunday? Sunday? Today? It's Sunday. I just got home like two hours ago. Andrew, what was you at? I was at Mr. Charlie's. Been working out there at Mr. Charlie's. Okay. Got home, took a shower. I'm cooking some chicken right now. Checked my email and I noticed Mr. Charlie sent me my first uh, paycheck still. My first W-2 free and clear money. Paycheck stub is one of them high value uh, men, six figure or earner. Okay, five day work week, home every day, uh, like 60 hours off, all that good stuff, you know. But I got a problem with this, this first settlement, Mr. Charles. I got a problem. My problem with Mr. Charlie is, even though it's my first settlement, it ain't. Two thousand dollars gross because I was trying to beat my favorite lease driver. He grossed two thousand. I was trying to gross two thousand too. You know his last summer was for two thousand. I was trying to do two thousand with Mr. Charlie. The problem is my favorite lease driver worked seven days. I only worked five. So if I would have worked seven, I would have beat him. But unfortunately, I only worked five over here, with Mr. Charlie. Uh, Mr. Charlie do offer six days. I just I'm still new, so that ain't that ain't for me yet. I'm just going to go over the numbers. This is the numbers right here. Now, this is not, this is what I call training pay. The reason I say training pay is because when I go solo, I'll get uh, paid more hourly than what I'm getting paid right now. This is just training pay. Uh, it's $27 an hour. I'm, I'm going to show you guys on the screen. It's $27 an hour base pay uh, day shift training pay, okay? Now, we worked uh, basically 60 hours, 12 hours a day. I told you guys we was working 3 a.m. to 3 p.m. Guys, that's, that's almost every day. Every day is 3 a.m., 3 p.m. Matter of fact, it's really 2.45 a.m. It's about 3, 3.30, 2.45, somewhere right in there. You know, it just depends on how traffic is. But uh, I know you guys want to hear the numbers. Here you go. I'm just going to read it. Um, I grossed $1,887.17 after, uh, okay, with taxes, they took out uh, $258. That's for uh, federal withholding. My Social Security, $117. Medicare, $27. So that's about $402 in taxes they took out. And that left me with a net pay of $1,484.54. Um, the, uh, the direct deposit is split between two bank accounts. $742 goes straight into my uh, Robinhood account because that's being invested tomorrow because uh, the market is down. The other $742 is going into my regular bank account, which will then be transferred over to Robinhood, but that take up to seven days. I got to change the percentages. I put it 50-50, 50 going to Navy Federal and 50 going to Robinhood because 
I want to still show uh, money coming into my uh, personal account at Navy Federal. But like I said, to transfer money from, wait a minute, give me one second. I forgot. I'm going to set the whole house on fire. Give me a second. I got chicken cooking in here and time will probably bend and what off. Give me one second. Okay, we back, baby. Forgot I was cooking fresh chicken in there, baby. We still losing weight because we are high, we one of them high value men now. So, you know, we still losing weight and collecting a lot of free and clear money that we don't really got no use for. Because ain't no way in the world I'm going to blow $1,500 between where well, the paycheck going to hit tomorrow in the bank account. But guess what? I got to go to work Monday through Thursday. So I'm not going to blow $1,500 at work. Therefore, I only got Friday, Saturday. That's it, because Sunday I'm back at work, baby. So I got two days to pretty much blow $1,500. Well, Andrew, are you going to blow $1,500? Absolutely not. I'm not going to blow $1,500. No, oh, oh, well, you know what? I am going to blow $1,500 in the stock market, baby. I, you know what? You know what? Did I read this to y'all? The net pay, $1,484.54. Like I said, they split the, uh, the net amount between both my bank accounts. This is hourly pay. This is based off $27 an hour. Um, the first 40 hours was at $27 an hour. After 40 hours, I get overtime, which is $40.50 an hour for 19.93 hours, okay? So, uh, guys, that's pretty much all to it. So, uh, first paycheck, almost $1,500. Next paycheck, probably another $1,500. Oh, tomorrow, tomorrow's the 21st. Wait a minute. My bad. I, I apologize. Apolo apologize now. Now, tomorrow, Mr. Charlie is going to donate $1,484 in my account. Tomorrow's the 21st. That means YouTube then is going to come after Mr. Charlie, and they're going to put their money into the pot. They're going to put their money into the pot, too. Ooh, Jesus. About to double down in the stock market, baby. I'm just saying. Home every day. Five day work week. This is five days work week. Like I said, Miss Charlie off for six days. I'm still training, guys. This is training pay. At twenty seven dollars an hour. When I go solo and start the night shift, because right now I'm day shift. When I go solo do night shift, I get paid more than twenty seven dollars an hour. Okay. Now that's this this all I'm I'm just here to just show y'all what Mr. Charlie sent me. Remember, I don't talk about the numbers. I put them in your face so you can read them, baby. The whole thing. We don't do nothing that's faking and frowning. And we just show you, show you like the bottom part of the check. We can't explain no numbers. We don't do none of that. For what? Baby, this is what it is. We can pay it hourly. So uh, as soon as I get to the truck, I hit on duty. That clock rolling, baby. Look, that clock rolling. And yes, I hit all the tires. I check every light. I get underneath the trail. I check the brake chambers. I check it all, baby. For Mr. Charlie. Mr. Charlie said last week, he said, Andrew, I need you to go out there and sign the truck up over at Blue Beacon. Mr. Charlie, look, look, look. Am I still on the clock, Mr. Charlie? You still on the clock, Andrew? Oh, 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 is it overtime? Yeah, he, well, yeah, it is overtime. So I'm getting $40 an hour, Mr. Charlie. Where is Blue Beacon? I'm going to take it to Blue Beacon, Mr. Charlie. Don't you worry. You paying for it, though, right? Yeah, you. Oh, hey, as long as you paying. I'm going to roll over here to Blue Beacon at $40 an hour. And, and look, I'm going to be smiling in line, boy. S -s -s Grinning and cheesing with the radio all the way blasting, baby. <laughs> Ain't nothing about 10 minutes from the house. It's so sad. It's so sad. Mr. Charlie kept me a check for almost $1,500. You two going to cut another check tomorrow, too. I ain't even going to hang it. Look, I ain't even no time of the day to spend the money. Now, what the hell is going on with Devin Hanley? I told you he sucked. I told you he sucked. I wouldn't doubt I wouldn't be it. Nothing on that fool. Not after that last fight. This fight right here. I wasn't surprised. I told you before the fight for the people that messaged me. I wanted Ryan to win. It's not surprised at all, baby. If I'm going to bet on some boxing. There's only one person I bet on. That's Tank. That's it. Other than that, uh, everybody else. 
they got they got to work their way up. I mean, we could do some Arrow Spence and, and, and Terrence Crawford. You know, them two I can still bet on. But this Devin Fool, uh, man, I don't know about him. He, that's high risk right there. That's high risk. Catch y'all in the next video.